Hello, what's up YouTube? It's your boy Tendon here, back at it yet again, but this time with something different. Uh, in recent year, in recent times, I've been falling in love with Dragon Ball Z Fighters, and of course, since the game's popular, and it's the most popular fighting game on Steam right now, which is a real, it's a real big surprise, honestly, I didn't expect it to do that well. I mean, Dragon Ball Z's popular, I never expected it to be the number one fighting game on Steam, but yeah. I'll take it. I'll very much take it. Mostly because they've announced they're doing DLC, and recently, recently got the first trailer for, for the first character, which is Broly, and eh, it's Broly. I'm okay with him being in the game. I mean, it was inevitable that he'd be in it. As long as we get Kaelin Khalifa, I don't care, of course, but you know. Anyway, and I want to just discuss the DLC today and my thoughts on what characters do I expect that we're getting. If you look at the title screen, there seems to be at least enough space for around eight more characters. And so, what do I think those eight characters will be? Well, here we go. Of course, since Broly is confirmed, and we recently just got his trailer, yes, I do... Yeah, it's Broly. That's easy enough. That's the first slot already taken for the eight DLC characters that they've announced they're doing so far. And Broly's an alright character. From what we've seen in his trailer, they've tweeted a lot of stuff from the movies, and he looks really interesting, and I'm honestly hoping he's like the slow, big, kind of super armor kind of guy who just punches and grapples everyone, kind of like what how 16 plays, just maybe a bit... Maybe a little less... I don't know, maybe a little less technical with his, like, punches and more like just a bunch of key blasts and stuff like that. That's what I'm hoping for. Of course, the other, the only other confirmed character that we have so far is Bardock, which they've confirmed in a recent magazine. Which, I'm excited for Bardock, Father Goku. I mean, it's, I mean, it's easily to be expected, of course, because it's Bardock. He's popular, and him and Broly are the first two movie characters to be added in, because originally Bardock was, I believe he was only in one panel in the manga, so I really didn't get a lot out of him. As long, I'm just assuming his final attack will most likely just be him doing what he does to Frieza before Frieza wrecks him, or just turning Super Saiyan, because it's just Bardock's shtick nowadays. Anyway, on to the next character. I believe it will be Cooler. Cooler is easily, one, pro arguably, the most popular movie villain besides Broly, and in the in, in the game's data, they have found evidence of the of the announcer saying Cooler's name. So I'm pretty much I'm pretty much guaranteed in my it's pretty much guaranteed in my opinion. I definitely think Cooler is in the game. Like, that's not going to be an issue. He's definitely in the game. Of course, his final, final will probably just be a giant supernova, kind of like what Frieza does in, the, in some of the game, in some of the other games in the show. I definitely expect his... I'm not sure if he'll start off in his fourth form or he'll go straight to final, but if I had to peg a guess, I'd say probably the final form may be like what Golden Frieza, if, when Golden Frieza is, which is a transformation. Like, just getting to get that for a limited time and eventually wears off or something, or it's permanent. I mean, whatever Arc System Works wants to do, I'm fine with anything, as long as Cooler's in the game, because I really do want to play with him. He was my favorite Dragon Ball Z movie villain as a kid. Now, the next one is, of course, it's 17. The game, the recent leak has also said 17 is most likely in the game, and it'll be more to a super look. And considering everything 17 is done in the Terminator Power, I absolutely want, need him to be playable. I want and need him to be playable. Also, sorry if I stutter in this video, guys. I've, I'm kind of just doing this off. I'm not really doing this with a script. I'm kind of just talking what I want and what I'm thinking. I mean, so if this is a little unprofessional. Do forgive me. Of course, 17's moves. His final is... I'm not really sure what they do for him with the super. Maybe something with his shield. Maybe... I mean, though that would be pretty hard to do. I mean, of course, his barrier will definitely be involved. And his infinite energy could have some play style, though... I'm guessing mm, but 17 really doesn't have that many shiny moves in the Tournament of Power, sadly. Like, he has a lot of good moments, but a lot of it's just random key blasts and punches. So it's really hard to see what they do for his moveset to make it different from 18. But, I mean, Arc System Works can make freaking Nappa really look, it look pretty interesting, so I'm pretty sure they can handle 17 easily enough. Alright, to the now the fifth character I expect is, is of course, v Vegito Blue. The leak has confirmed that it is most likely in the game, and Vegito, if he's not in the game, I'll honestly be shocked. Plus, if they're going to do Vegito Blue, he's there's only they're going to also most likely do the next character on my list. And Vegito Blue really is the only character I can see from like the beginning arcs that would really be chosen. Because I very much doubt Whis will be playable. I, uh, I don't think any of Frieza's new henchmen are even remotely likely. And most of the I feel this hit's really the only worthy addition from Universe 7. I mean, not Universe 7, Universe 6, but Universe 6. I don't feel like Megeta or Botamo or Kaba will really be worth anything at this point, at least from, or at least from the arc where they're introduced. And, of course, if we have v Vegeta Blue, which, if his finisher is not the final Kamehameha, I will be shocked. It, most likely, I'd think, for the sixth character, Merge Zamasu. 
He's the only Dragon Ball super villain that isn't in the game yet, because newsflash, Jiren's not a villain. And he is, despite how I personally don't think we need him, I don't really think, think he's really that likely. I mean, he's not that great of a villain, in my opinion. He's just kind of more Goku Black and Zamasu, but a lot less of Black and more Zamasu, and Zamasu's not that great of a villain, honestly. He's, eh, I wouldn't say he's worse than Baby or Super 17, because they're both pretty trash, but he's not much better. In all honesty. And, of course, his finishers will... I think his ultimate will maybe be, like, him going into his, like, berserk crazy form. If something like that. And honestly, I'd be hyped for that. And now, on to the last two characters. Because the leak has also said it would most likely be... Base Goku and Base Vegeta. As for Base Goku, I have no issues with this. I'm... I mean, we could have gotten better characters. Like, there's tons of Dragon Ball characters we could have gotten that would be better than this. But as long as they give him the power pull, they give him the Nimbus, give him the Spirit Bomb, give him more of like classic music, maybe the Meteor combination, something like that, a bunch of Kaioken, I'm fine with it. It's Goku. They can make it at least interesting. As for Vegeta, that's... Uh, I don't know what they'd really do with base Vegeta that they haven't done with the other two at this point. Like, just, I don't know, maybe give him... like The, the other forms have his Gala Gun. Gala Gun. Garlic, gar garlic Gun. Whatever you want to say it. And honestly, I mean, unless they just make him an... I mean, the only thing I could see that would be definitely unique is his finisher better be the Ozaru. Like, it's just too perfect not to use. And this would be it, but recently there has been another leak saying we might be getting a Season 2. And it's been... And, you know, they've said they are supporting Dragon Ball Fighters for up to two years. And I very much doubt it will take two years to get all eight of these characters ready. Especially because Broly's basically done. So, who do I think would be the other eight? Since we, there was a leak, but I don't, I don't see the, I don't really like the accuracy of that leak, so I'm just going to pick characters that I honestly would want or prefer to be in the game, rather than what the leaks generally say. But the first, the first leaks looked really accurate, so I figured I'd just fill the first eight slots with the characters they said, simply because it looks like it's most likely accurate. And anyway, on to the characters that I personally want. First up is Super Boo. Super Boo is the only Boo we're missing from the big, is from the, you know, the big three, the, or in this case four, since we have under 21. Super Boo could do a lot of different things different than the other Boos. Of course, he's the most intelligent Boo. He, of course, has the absorption powers he could take advantage of. If you want to give him transformations, maybe he could go into Gotenks Absorbed, and then, of course, Gohan Absorbed, which is, if I had to pick a form they put him in, most likely Gohan Absorbed. Give him the Kamehameha, give him, give him, maybe, like, do, like, you know how Majin Buu throws his skin? Give him a lot more of that because Super Buu takes a lot more advantage of that. Of course, the attack that of course the attack that murders all of humanity, he could do that. Maybe some more. Maybe emphasize his regeneration powers more. Of course, the chocolate beam, or you could turn him into an egg and smash it, or something like that. To what he does with Chi Chi, there's a lot of options I feel like he could do with Super Buu, and I definitely want him in the game, especially because he is probably my favorite Buu. Because I never really found Kid Buu that interesting, and Fat Buu's likable, but Su I like. When I see a villain, I definitely think of Super Boo as probably my favorite part of the Boo saga. Anyway, on to the second character that I think will be in DLC Season 2. I think Janemba. I mean, Janemba is easily one of the best movie villains out there, and if he's not in the game, I'll generally be, like, astonished. He's such an interesting character, and heck, it's another sword character, like what Trumps can do. That could be interesting. He can teleport around with his, like, just moving his skin, like, blocks or whatever. If you want to do, like, his big, fat, ugly form for the first thing, you do that. I mean, there's just a lot of... I can see a lot of interesting playstyles for Janemba, and, I mean, honestly, if there's another movie character that we need, we don't need Turles, we don't need Lord Slug, we need Janemba. He's... I mean, look at this man. Look at this pure evil monstrosity. I want to be able to use this and beat up Goku Black with it. Come on. Now onto my personal favorite, and the one I want the most, is easily Kepla. She is my favorite new character introduced in Dragon Ball Super, and I absolutely want her to be playable. I don't care if it's like if it's like Kale or Khalifa as by themselves and their finisher is Kepla, I just want her in this game to some extent. If she's just straight up Kepla, I'm 100% happy. If it's just Khalifa with Kale as a support and Kepla being you know, their finisher, I'm fine with that. If it's the, the vice versa, I'm 100% fine with it as long as we get Kepla to some extent. I need this. <laughs> please. Please. Please, Namco. Please, Arc System Wars. Please, Toei. Please, God. Anyone, please. Just give me Kefla. <laughs> I sound like a pathetic beggar. <laughs> of course, if we're going to go OG, of course, M Master Roshi. 
he has been with the series since the beginning. He's easily, like, if there's a Dragon Ball character they're going to pick, it's Roshi. There's no argument to that. I mean, look at this man. In a recent time, with Dragon Ball Super and how much Roshi's come back as a character, I definitely want him in the game. And plus, if you add Roshi, all the Tournament of Power Fighters for Universe 7 are in the game. And, I mean, come on, some classic Kamehameha, maybe the Mafuba in some extent, just bought his finish, he can make Fave fight, maybe, like, switch between the forms of, like, Skinny Roshi and Buff Roshi and his ultimates, just like the Kamehameha he uses in the Tournament of Power. And I think there's a lot we could do with Roshi. He uses Kane to punch stuff. There's a lot of options here, and Roshi is easily a fan favorite. And, let's be honest, we all know in his opening he's probably going to be reading a magazine, and we all know what he's looking at. Roshi's a player, and I want to play as him. Of course, next I'd say, I think if we're going to go back to the Boo Saga and pick another character, it's definitely Videl. She was a definitely interesting character, and, I mean, they, she her, her fighting style is all about punches, so maybe they could do something interesting with that. And if they, they do give your key blast, it'll have to be very light, and for her assists, she and to help her keep, you know, stay, you know, not get completely overwhelmed by everyone who's just shooting Kamehameha, maybe give her the great Sandman, and he could also get a Kamehameha's or something. I mean, Videl would definitely be interesting, though I think out of everyone on this list, she's easily the mo most unlikely, simply because, I mean, I don't think, if I think if they put in, like, Lord Slug or Nail or pretty much any of Frieza's other henchmen, I feel they would, I think people would be care more about them than Videl, though I definitely think Videl would be an interesting addition, I definitely wouldn't mind her. Next, of course, is the big bald himself, Jiren. He is the big new antagonist, and I definitely really like Jiren as a as like and you know not necessarily as a character because his personality is anything but interesting. And Jiren, honestly, I really can't wait for the manga to come out and let's see how they how Toriyama actually handles him, because Toei did not do the best job with Jiren's character. Though, if what they're saying about the spoilers for the new episodes for the last two episodes of Dragon Ball Super. They might just fix that, but we'll see. Of course, for Jiren, they could use like use all of his, of course, different variety of punches, like his key fist thing he does. Of course, the thing with his eyes, the like when he does the kale, where he like just turns around and she explodes above him, stuff like that. I mean, Jiren would def, I definitely would want Jiren to be slow because he is a pretty big dude. Maybe give him like some of the most highest damage in the game, but I mean, like, mm, I want, I mean, I definitely want Jiren, though. I'm also a little bit, like, in the middle ground with Jiren. I mean, honestly, there's not that, I don't feel he'd be that unique, really. I definitely think he's likely, and I definitely want him, because he is a cool character. Though I think his uniqueness struggles a bit at times. Eh. They'd really... I, I'd have to see... I mean, this arc's just the more, so I definitely think they could do it. Though it would definitely be... I definitely a little bit more iffy on Jiren in terms of how unique his fighting style could be. Like, especially like, but some of the characters in the game really do have a similar fighting styles, and that could be a problem, especially considering Jiren really isn't that unique in terms of how he fights. I definitely want him in the game, though. That's for sure. Anyway, now I believe there are two more characters. Next character, Raditz. I know what you're thinking, Ten Ton. Raditz, really? Why would you pick Raditz of all characters? Why Raditz? He's so irrelevant. And a year ago, I would have said the same, but around April last year, a certain YouTuber who is amazing at his job released What If Raditz Turned Good? And that series has been in nothing but an enjoyment to watch. If you haven't seen Moscow X's series about that, watch it. It's great. And that series has really made me care about Raditz as a character. Sure, it's not the same Raditz, but Raditz in anything is a way is a way to kind of like you know, support the character and try to maybe make Raditz a bit more mainstream. And who knows, if Moscow X's what if gets out there enough, maybe Toei will take, well, when they finish up Super, and assuming Dragon Ball doesn't get too much more content, they could do what they did with a fan's Yamcha manga and make it, like, a non-canon story. But that would definitely be interesting, and, like, the what if's definitely a good story. If you haven't seen it, go watch it. It's great. And for Raditz, of course, double Sunday it up. Maybe Ozaru him if you want. But do a bunch of, they probably take a lot, even though... And there's not a, I don't think, he only has four episodes, though if they take the filler, they might have enough to work with, honestly. I mean, Raditz is definitely a character I want, simply because that, I've fallen in love with this character, because the What If explores it so well, and Moscow does such a good job with it, I really just want Raditz to get a lot more love from the fans. And let's hope that Dark System Works has the same idea. Now for the last character, let us go to my boy Zarbon. When it comes to Frieza's henchmen, I figured we probably would get at least one more, and I feel if it's I feel Zarbon is far more likely than 
far more likely to compare to Dodoria or Kui or anyone else, honestly. He, of course, has the monster form, so there's his ultimate right there. He has a bunch of elegant kind of attacks. Definitely, I think he has some specific kick moves or punches he does in the anime that they could definitely use. Honestly, Zarbon, if there's going to be a Frieza minion, I definitely think it's him. Because we already have the entire Ginyu Force. I doubt they'd make them their own characters. Koi's irrelevant, and Dodoria doesn't really get that much screen time to show how he fights. And honestly, if they want to bring in Dodoria, just make Dodoria Zarbon's assists, then I think it works out fine. And lastly, I want to discuss some other characters that I didn't put on this list that maybe could be in the game. Of course, there's also, of course, let's start this list. We have Vegito. <laughs> no, not Vegito. I'm stupid. Go Tech. You all, but you all better dislike this video right now. I'm stupid. What is this? No, Gogeta. His name's Gogeta. Kill me. I definitely think Gogeta could do it. And if they add in Janemba, I think him and Gogeta kind of just go in hand. It's just an easy thing to do. And just, you know, for final attack, Spirit Breaker. Easy. Topo could also be likely. Like, I definitely think if they want to add in, like, more of the Pride Troopers, it's Jiren and Topo and maybe Dispo, though I heavily doubt Dispo. So Topo, just give him his, like, just give him, like, the Justice Flash, all of his punches, his Justice can't believe he just just dabs in the anime that, that, that killed me the first time I saw it. Just give him his Dota Destruction form and go nuts, Toei. Just go nuts. Well, let's see. Of course, eh, Kui. Yeah, right. Mm, I very, I highly doubt Dodori unless, unless he's his assist. As for, as for Kaba, maybe. I honestly don't think he's that relevant. And Kaba really, we haven't seen Kaba really fight that much. Like, sure, Kaba, I mean, his finisher would most likely just be maybe him turning Super Saiyan 2 and just going in ham. I honestly doubt Kaba, really. Frost, I also am, like, there's no, I honestly don't think Frost will even be, no, just no. It's just, it's Frost. He's inferior to Frieza in every way, and his fighting style, I mean, you could do something with the poisonous needles, though I honestly don't think there's enough on Frost to do much with. Same for Champa, we never really seen his him fight, and honestly, I don't think Champa would be that interesting as a character. He's just a fatter Beerus, and we already have Beerus. Honestly, I don't think he's likely. Of course, if, if it, was, it comes to those two androids, 19 and, eight and 20, it's a bit more meh. I doubt them, though if it, they are in the game, I definitely say it, it would just be 20. Doctor, Good old Dr. Jiro with 19 as his assist. Maybe he could have a thing where he just absorbs the Kamehameha's through enhanced hand. Maybe the like, key-based attacks really don't work on him unless you catch him off guard. And I definitely think he could have some interesting like moves and attacks. Though we don't, sadly we don't see Jiro really fight enough to where I think we could really see what he's capable of. Though, it's our system works. I'm sure they could make up some moves if they had to. Who knows? I think Kid Goku could also work. I think that'd be interesting. Honestly, I would prefer Kid Goku over Saiyan Saga Goku. Simply because, I mean, it's a bit more different, and it's not just another Goku. I don't. We don't need four Gokus in this stupid game. I love you, Goku. But you are you don't need to be... Assuming if we get this, how many characters would that be? We have 24 right now. Plus eight. That's third. We don't need you to be one tenth of the roster, Goku. We don't need you to be one. Of, we don't need four of you when there's forty characters in the game. Of course, if they want to go obscure, there's Tapion. Like, I'll tell you, if you want to go obscure, Tapion is is the definitely the definition of obscure. And of course, he did recently appear in Xenoverse Two, so it looks like he might be kind of having a comeback. I wouldn't mind Tapion, though. I don't think there's that much we could really do with him. And he would, I probably think he'd be a little bit similar to Future Trunks, though. I mean, you could maybe do something with, with his Ocarina, or some, or maybe, like, I don't know, maybe if you want, if they wanted to do go nuts, they could maybe have him summon Harutagon and do something like that. That could be fun. Of course, Hercule, they've said they're not doing joke characters, so I very much don't think Hercule's going to be in the game, unless they just go, like, all out serious with him. I mean, of course, give him a jetpack, give him capsules, give him, I don't know, guns and rocket launchers. If you wanted, I mean, though I honestly do I think that would be funny, though I don't really think Hercules is probably not going to be in the game. If they want to go GT, there's a few options. Of course, Goku and Vegeta are definitely would be the characters I think they would pick from. Goku, Super Saiyan 4, Vegeta, and Super, Vegeta, Super Saiyan 4 would definitely work. Give them the good old Final Shine, Times 10, Kamehameha, and stuff like that. Of course, then there's Omega Shinron and Baby, which if we're going to pick the villains, it's going to be them. Though, eh, I don't really know how I feel about I definitely don't think it's Baby. I definitely think Omega Shinron would be the one they'd pick. He's eas easily the best thing when it comes to villains that we got out of GT. And, I mean, all imagine the... Ugh, I would not want to be impaled by his spikes. I can imagine some kind of grab combo where he just, like, impales people with his spikes. Just chucks them all around. Maybe summons the other, like, evil dragons to help him. Stuff like that. And then there's Gogeta. Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta could also definitely work. 
There's, and even though we don't really see that much of him in the actual show, he definitely has enough to why I, or I think you could just take stuff from Goku for Vegeta just to compensate. And unless I've missed anyone, I believe that's everyone on this that I actually came up to think with. Though I don't believe... Wait, am I forgetting anyone? Oh, wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, we could do... De there's also Deborah, though... I mean, they, I mean that could be interesting. Maybe spit on people, turn into stone, use his giant like Arabian sword, slash people to death. Good old punches and kicks. Of course, Deborah was actually the star of some of the recent Xenoverse Two DLC, which that DLC is not very well done in my opinion. And I honestly think that Toei should be and Nanwood Manti should be ashamed for releasing it the way they did. Ugh. I'll, I'll probably make make a video complaining about that. But for, and but that's for that's for a later date. And if I don't believe that, I don't believe there's anyone else, excluding maybe uh, Pygon. Like maybe he could do something, though Pygon's not even canon. But I mean, they're using rolling them, though. I don't really feel Pygon would be that likely, honestly. I mean, there's like the what is his moves? I honestly, I honestly forgotten about all of his moves. The thunder flash, like the fire tornado thing he does when he like one shot cell in hell. I mean, there's a lot they could do with him, maybe, though I do honestly don't think people would care enough about Pygon. And, oh, oh, oh wait, 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 I almost read, like, oh, just interesting Goku. Yeah, I mean, if they did go, if they did that, he'd definitely be unique with the whole dodging everything mechanic. Though I, mm, they could definitely do it. Though if they do it, and they, but though if they do it, I'll be legitimately pissed off that we have five Gokus in this game. We do not need five Gokus in this game. Toei, please don't. <laughs> If you're going to do Ultra Instinct, then take out Rick Saiyan and Saga Goku. Anyway, guys, that's the end of, Well, it looks like we've come to the end of the video. It's been fun. I stutter a lot, and I'm definitely expecting a lot of dislikes on this video. Anyway, talk to you later, guys. Peace.